There's like a, there's like a storage compartment around here, right? No? Should I just dump everything on the ground? Could. I guess I will. Alright. Let's look into dropping things now. And, well, let's quick save first just to make sure that I... I'm ready, because maybe they, maybe dropping stuff won't do what I hope it does, but I'm hoping that just comes out on the floor. That's three baseball gloves, can't you tell? Alright, so it's working as I as I would hope it would. There we go. So all of these material items are now on the floor. Or I can get them again. Now some of them are rolling away, but that's fine. I can find them reasonably. There you go. I think it's all gonna stay there. I think that's the point of one of these types of games. Now I can keep picking everything up again. Like an apple. I should look into upgrading. Ah, crap. I forgot to, well, it's fine. I, my inventory's fine. I forgot to drop the other wrench, but that's fine. So I've got an upgrade item right here. So I can do my first upgrade fine. Let's see. Gunsmith ability required for advanced modification. And go for firepower, recoil, and ammo capacity. Seems reasonable to upgrade my only long-range weapon, perhaps. Make any ammo I use more efficient. So I think I'm gonna go that way. Need to press... was it T to upgrade? Nope. I need to press combine. So you can't upgrade your wrench. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, I gotta drag it to it? There we go. Okay, so I can put it into one tier of each one. I can go for... four more damage. Reduced recoil. More ammo capacity per clip. Reload speed. I would go for firepower, I think, just for ammo efficiency at this point. There we go. We've got an upgraded shotgun and more inventory space. Speaking of which... There we go. Taking care of everything one piece at a time. Taking our sweet time going through this game. Discarded cigarettes, rude. Oh, those are like ashtrays, aren't they? There's so many of them everywhere. How much smoking are they doing in the space station in the future? Weird. Not what I'd expect. Taking what I can, but I might attract unwanted attention from the next room. You did see like a fire phantom monster down there. Yeah, there it is. Does it just straight up shoot fire? A secure pharmaceutical. Yeah, we're not getting in there that way. Apparently what fire sounds like. It's pretty damn loud, actually. Grab the turret. Doesn't seem like it's gonna move very much, so let's prep the turret for our own defenses. There we go. Do you see it? Hey, monster. What's over here? You should come investigate. You wanna investigate? Does it shoot fire? Er oh god, my turret. Immediately. That's bad. Does it not see me as much as it sees my uh, turret back there? Oh god. There's fire coming out of the floor. Pull you straight to hell. Okay, that's not great news. I am witnessing a limitation of the turret. <laughs> oh no. Your suit's damaged. The better condition your suit's in, the more damage it'll absorb from enemy attacks and hazards. Use a suit repair kit to repair your suit. Oh, what happened? Lost you again. Whoop! I'm in suit damage status right now. 
Do you know where I am right now? Hey, it worked. Coming back this way. Where do you suppose they came from, it says. Hey! I almost died. Crap. Ow. Ow. <laughs> well, let's eat something. A little bit better. How big was the explosion of that? Or did I, get, I must have gotten hit by something else, because it, it's, uh... It's doing attacks out of the ground. I think those were hitting me. You're like flame retardant, right? Yeah. Now it's nicer in here. My poor turret friend. Stop falling over, please. There we go. So, t downside of turrets is they fall over pretty easily, which is good. Unfortunate when your enemy can summon attacks underneath its opponent. Chris Wade. Let's see, well fed is done. I'm just gonna eat periodically for a bit. Duck beer. Here's fear. Got suit repair damage. Yeah, let's do one of these. I was in a bad spot there. There we go. We'll heal a little bit more. Hello. Well, I guess I do want a ton of spare parts. Fried hard drive. Oh yeah, this is a repair location. What is Popstar? Another five health item? Let's see. There we go. Medical operator. Ooh. Broded coil. Burnt circuit board. Lots of parts in here. More banana peels, of course. Medical station missing operator. Wade, please, 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 with the cherry on top, fix the medical operator that's been sitting on your desk. Gold crest. He did not, and then everyone died, and it was all his fault. And who's leaving banana peels and eel scraps in the microwave? Humans are disgusting. Broken cooler fan. This thing doesn't have power. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. Okay, I can repair you because I have the parts. Let's do that. Thank you. Hello, friend. How are you doing? Oh, there's even more parts underneath him to, to make it up for it. Well, I think like you're floating a little too high. There you go. Hi. Diagnosing. Looks like you've had a rough day. I'll have you feeling All done. What? You can fill out a service questionnaire at the front desk. Full health just like that. You're a straight up health checkpoint. You're awesome. You're my favorite. I love you. How do I take you to more... Pardon a place... Me. I need to move you to a less dangerous spot, though. I feel like you're gonna get in trouble here. Kind of on your own. Goliath. Alright, well you do you. Whoops. I Between the turrets and the medical operator, I'm pretty happy with the idea of becoming a... a, 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 a mechanical type character. Can I get behind this? Nope. Nothing there. How are we doing on space? We're fine for now. by type. Uh, yeah, we got, we're eating into our space, but we're good. Got lots of glue canisters, three flexi foam bolts for the Huntress bolt caster. That's something different. Wait, flexi foam bolts would just be, <laughs> like, that's just nerf. <laughs> that's a nerf bullet. That's pretty funny. That's just not useful as a weapon. So we have, uh, we have pistol ammo or ammo already. And I've got a, two suit repair kits, five spare parts, so we're Adding to that pile, and also I have a thing that will just heal me when I walk walk, walk up to it. So that's definitely worth repairing. One reason to keep the medical parts around. I guess that's the equivalent of the, uh... Oh, hello. Creepy nightmare. Oh, it's like a compass. Go over there. It's like that's the equivalent of the, uh, the surgical tables in System Shock 2 that you would repair. And they'd mostly hang, and they would just sit there in the room. That guy had stuff on him. We apparently don't, don't even know what to call those things yet. 
But in the last game, you could you could he had a certain number of surgical repair kits uh, that you could apply to medical stations to repair them. And when he repaired them, you could go there and just f in full heal for a basically ne negligible negligible price. They seem to be going for the same thing here. Was that a weapon upgrade kit? What was that big one? Oh, Psy Hypos. They take up two slots. Interesting. We don't have any Psy yet, though. That's for later, I suppose. Listen, I'll take all your crap. I'm gonna mulch it into something. Operator Dispenser. What do you do? Request Operator. Medical Operators remain. Ooh! It just spits them out? Well, that's neat. Kind of defeats the purpose of me repairing one, I suppose, unless it costs a bunch of money or something. Weird. Martin Girod. I'm surprised by which things I can pick up, but I guess that thing's mostly porous. Or mostly empty. Can you attack these? Not a great idea. Cause... Yep. Yep. I've had better ideas. Alright, learning things. So that pipe shoots out either poison or flammable gas? That's corrosive, yeah. That probably did some damage to my suit, actually. More than my actual character. Keeping track of these resources, though. So that's an environmental detail I might be able to use against my enemies. Ooh. Yes. Ooh, so much stuff. Thank you. Quarantine, that's not encouraging. How about you? Is your body going to attack me? Luther Glass. You have a charge of an EMP. <laughs> Hello, EMP grenade. EMP charge. The EMP charge emits a, a large burst of electromagnetic energy, highly effective against robots, turrets, and other electrical-based entities. It can be thrown or affixed to stationary objects using mouse one. And, and another neuromod, thank you. His body didn't get up to attack me. Thought it would. You can't zoom in when you're pointing it at him for some reason. I thought he would attack me or like something would spread out of him or something and attack me. He was left in here. I'm imagining he was dying, and they tr they struggled to save him, and they failed, and then they just moved on because it's too much of a crisis to even deal with where to put his body. There's just dead people everywhere. Like, you get a sense of how many people are freaking working at this place when there's that many bodies in each room. Gustav Leitner. Results. Confidential. February 13th. Probably 2035 or something, or 2135. No, it's 2035. We have the the... This place was established uh, five years ago. Uh, results. Patient tested positive for non... non-small cell lung cancer. Patient did not list any ailments on their submission form prior to being taken on the skill, rec to the skill recorder. Contact this patient immediately. If patient is still on TELUS 1, have him report to the trauma center as soon as possible. Okay. That's February 13th, so it's like two weeks ago, I think? Isn't it like the 30th? Wait, there's no February 30th. Crap. Well, I know one way to find out. Wasn't there a discarded calendar, like, right here? February 23rd. So it's, that was ten days ago. Hello. Good to see you Good again, morning, Dr. Talos. As a reminder, all personnel must complete monthly physicals during their stay aboard Talos. White noise. That's what we wanted to learn about. White noise. Perceptions of imperceptions. Aaron Don Rigo. More often called white noise due to the telltale spots said to be like static in the victim's eyes, white noise isn't just a medical condition, and it's more than the wild, almost witch doctor-like claims of psychic ability. Dr. Deo Ingwe, anyone? It's disenfranchisement. It says the victim can never have a neuromod. Nor can their brain be mapped. It's the end of everything that is about a person. Who is trans started aside? Will we let them add a biological ca caste system to the human race? 
Let's see. So this seems to be... It seems to be suggesting that, that people with white noise are the ones that are told not to get... be allowed to have neuro mods, which we saw before. But also it seems to suggest that people with white noise are the ones that get special abilities, perhaps? That's probably where the Psy stuff comes in, where we keep finding the, the Psy hypos everywhere. One, Dr. DeVries promises to make them as quick and painless as possible. Med kit fabrication plan. Ooh. And I'm out of space for this Petri dish sample. We don't have a password for Regina Sellers yet. Keep an eye out for that. Keeping an eye around. So there's a few rooms we want to go into, or, or don't want to go into, because they might be terrible. Before I do that, let's go dump stuff off again. Might as well. I need to go find myself a place where I can actually mulch all these things. Yep, stuff's still there. That's a good sign. Alright. Because I've got too much again. That's all the basic stuff I would want to get rid of. Let's get rid of the other wrench I have. And just like that, way more space all over again. Do I want these? Lexi foam bolts. I don't want those. That's, good. That's like a joke item, right? Blong. It's going to be a big pile of trash until I find exactly how you uh, turn that stuff into its base components. Hopefully I haven't like already found it and forgotten about it or something, because that can reasonably happen. So the counselor is here. How much going on in here? Let's try the counselor's office first. Seems small. Alright, something might pop out of me here. Pays to be ready. Thankfully, this door doesn't even close, so I can just put you in the main hall. April McGuire. Not hearing skittering yet. There's the ink blot we saw. I think it's the same. Yeah, it's probably the same ink blot we saw during the test. Oh, maybe not. There's a bunch of them in here. Good cop, good cop. Book of Interrogation Techniques by Dr. Avalon Bayer. The typical interrogation suspect portrayed in entertainment media is stubborn, clever, or even arrogant, entering into a verbal sparring match with the interrogation o interrogating officer. While this makes for good drama, it's a poor representation of actual cases. It is important to note that the majority of suspects want to talk. Let them. Provide some prompts, but only keep the words flowing. Do not attempt to direct them, but just keep them talking. My experience, and case studies back this, has been that most people will move toward the information you want to know if you just listen to them and reaffirm their assumptions when they need it. Just be nice, let them talk, don't let them feel threatened, and maybe they'll just reveal everything you want. No biggie. More flower cuttings for me. Program requirements documents. Grand Star Work Manual 633 Psychological Risk. Studies show that there is a significant likelihood of behavioral conditions and psychiatric disorders emerging among the population of crew stationed for longer than three months. Impacts of behavioral issues are minimized with appropriate tools for monitoring mood and predicting risk. While including as many Earth-like amenities and recreations as possible. I'm trying to figure out how to keep people sane out here. Is that pipe gonna help me get anywhere? I don't think so. Lots of blots here. Session log, Sarah... Sal Slazar? Slayer? Danielle Show, Lorenzo Scalf. This is a hard font, uh, writing... Style, Morgan Yu. Taking what I can. Of course the counselor smokes cigars. 
files, emails, utilities. Let's check it out. First of all, utilities. What, is the, what does this do? Behavioral test. Transstar quick behavioral assessment for factor analysis. For correct, uh, correct, for correct drift assessment data should be gathered repeatedly for the same subject over time. Test started. What? Where's the test? Did I just do something? Whoops. <laughs> Email. Have my people been from Bellamy to Math Matthias Cole? Hey Matt. Add another one of my people present uh, present a single assigned note from you for fatigue. I just want to make sure it's legit. Are there a lot of people coming to you with stress related complaints, or is it my imagination? Sylvain. Response to Trevor Young from Cole to so from Hans Kelstrup to Matthias Cole. Matthias? Or Matthias, I guess? I don't know what to tell you. He walked into an experiment without a psychoscope, and it went sideways. We couldn't contain it after that. They controlled him. My suspicion is the Typhon can force an other beings to empathize with them. Maybe further down the road we can find a way to reverse engineer this. Get them to empathize with us. Please keep Mr. Young in quarantine for the time being. You have my thanks. Hans Kelstrup. Okay, so... Trevor Young is somebody who apparently interacted with the Typhon and it converted them in some way. And so he, he went to their side, basically. Danger, danger. Quarantine suspect, subject. From Kendrick... Oh, I got a key code for quarantine. From Kendrick DeVry to Anna Goldcrest. Copy to Cole. Anna, please keep staff away from the quarantine area. We have a potentially contagious subject in there who is suffering from memory loss. At this time... <clears throat> at this time, only Dr. Cole and myself should have access. Please set the new code to 1556. Hendrick DeVry. Let's drink some water. <laughs> Ooh, session logs. Dr. Calvino. Dr. Lorenzo... Uh, Lorenzo Calvino. My concern with Dr. Calvino is increasing. His symptoms have escalated from memory loss and occasional disorientation to delusions and paranoia. His increased agitation in this session has given me his cause to take his issues up with Alex during our next debriefing session. Tell me about the dream. The dream. Yes. It's, um... It's always in my lab, and, um... I'm standing in front of the glass. Are you alone? Yes. What do you see in the glass? Well, nothing. At first. I don't want to turn it on. But I can't help it. I have to turn it on. When I do, it's like the heart of a black hole. An immense darkness. There's something swimming in the black. I catch glimpses, edges of the shape. I feel as though it wants to come through onto my side. I have to turn off the glass before it sees me, but I always wake before I can. What does it look like, the shape in the glass? I, uh, nothing. Does it look like this image here? Dr. Calvino, does it look like this? No, 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 no that's... No, I, I don't... Uh... Are you sure? Where did you get that drawing? Have you been spying on me? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Ooh, they didn't like that. So they, 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 there must be a reoccurring shape that people are seeing when they get influenced here, and that's, they must already know what it is. So when they show it to somebody, they can react to that like, uh, because that they're freaking out because it's like the one from their visions or whatever. But then, uh, it's the same one they always see. It's it's linked. Sarah Elazar. Session number 56. What was the other one? 253. Whoa. Sarah's hostilities towards me continue unabated. This distance she creates makes it difficult for me to address her issues of anxiety and distrust. Some of her answers today did lend me a bit of insight I might be able to use in future sessions to hopefully get her to open up more. Sarah, but you can call me Chief Elazar. Matt. 
Matthias, please. Forgive me, but your name is Sarai in the file. We've been over this. My mother Americanized it. Will we be spending the next 59 minutes like this? Because we could cut it short right now. We've discussed your mother. I thought perhaps today we could speak more about the career choices that were born of that. Serving in the military wasn't an excuse to get away from her nagging, Matt. I was just... restless. And you're better now? Not restless? I'm fine. Because your last tour of duty was the evacuation, and reports from there... I saved as many as I could. For every soldier we lost, we were able to save a hundred civilians. Yes. Tragic. Still, to lose soldiers under your command... The cost was worth it, both in lives and the unification of the region. Taking on a losing battle like that? Fighting? Not enemy troops, but the equivalent of a natural disaster. It wasn't natural, it was man-made. It prepared me for here, Dr. Cole. Because this station? It's the same thing, a disaster waiting to happen. We are well-trained and poorly equipped. <sighs> the research is dangerous. Keeping secrets secret is dangerous. I'm sure you would agree. So she doesn't trust this place because she thinks the same thing that happened back on Earth is going to happen yet again here. And it's probably not a crazy conclusion considering, well, look what's happened to us. Uh, I wonder if we're going to find out that perhaps these mimics and so on are human origin. That would be concerning. Also, he kind of seems like a prick. Uh, this is apparently session number 56 and he still ad addresses her by the wrong name. Like, just disrespectful to constantly address somebody by the wrong name constantly 56 sessions in. Danielle Show. Session number five. Danielle exhibits relentless anger towards authority, generally, and you specifically. A few gentle, a few gentle questions send her on a tirade that ended with her storming out of the office. Good morning, Talos. Breakfast is served in the cafeteria until 9 a.m. Thank you, Talos. I wouldn't be surprised if she decided to skip these meetings for the rest of her tenure here on Talos 1. These psych evals are a waste of time. A waste of time? Like back on Earth? That was different. Was it? Anger, issues with authority... A year of counseling doesn't sound like a trivial matter. Those files were supposed to be closed. Are you angry? I'm getting there. Any new relationships? No. I thought you and Miss Foy, the sanitation engineer, were seen together. She's a sanitation boss, and we're not in a relationship. Not anymore. Ah. And this separation, did it involve anger? Issues with authority? Screw this! I'm done! Report me to the U's, I don't care. They're putting the station at risk just like Transtar North and just like on Earthside. You assholes will bury it with your psych eval bullshit. And another thing. Oh boy. Yeah, he just seems like a prick and that, like, like someone that's not very good at his job and he, tr and he spells it all out like it's problems with the personalities of the people he's, he's uh, interviewing, but he just seems to be really bad at talking to people for somebody whose job is to, to talk at people. What did this do? New test started. Supposedly doing a test right now. <laughs> I wonder. Hey turret friend, how you doing? So is this you are you the secretary? Oh. This is the this is the test. Okay, I get it. So you do the test in here. I thought, I thought this was like the some kind of like secretary or receptionist desk or something, which probably would be a little overboard for their staff size, I guess. I was putting that off for a bit, but uh, turns out there's nothing there to check out. It's the same test we did we did earlier. Chief surgeon. We don't have that one. We have we do have quarantine. Quarantine back here. You betcha. Deploying. Set that up for now. More psi hypos. Let's 
soap. Consider it dropped. I don't know why I keep doing this. <laughs> I feel like I gotta keep an eye out because you never know where they're gonna hide stuff you really want for your character. They're sneaky about that stuff. Alright. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Trevor might be crazy. Oh. He's mind controlled and he's kind of losing it right now. Does he know I'm here? DeVry. DeVry7324. What am I gonna do with that? Pudding? Remain two meters from glass. <laughs> Already broke that rule. Subject appears disoriented, paranoid, not sure how much of current behavior is due to incident versus his recent neuromod removals. Recommended continued observ uh, observation, Matthias Cole. One, five, five, six. Sure, I could probably let him out, but let's not do that. It might be possible to save him. Maybe using that code. Devry. Seven three two four. If I can find a place to put that coded and maybe we could help him out. 